Hey, welcome, it's me, OG Duffy, and I am back with a pickups video, okay? It's been a while since I've done one of these. I mean, I've done some game hunting and stuff like that where I've shown you my pickups, but not where I've done general bit of shopping and eBay and CEX and all that sort of good stuff that I do to add to the collection. Now, uh, before we get to it, though, let's do that more important thing. Yes, you know it. Let's go grab a beer. Beer of choice today. Let's take a look, got some nice big bottles in, so I think some of them are good. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm really <laughs> going up and going all out. I'm treating myself, right? Let's do one of these, all right? One of these bad boys. This is the uh, Peroni Gran Reserva. Italian, no, more, you know what I mean. Uh, Doppio Molto. Okay, uh, it is 6.8%. Uh, so it'd be a nice one to warm me up. Let's go. Get the bottle opener. Crack this bad boy. Let's go, eh? Is it that spiz? <laughs> Crisp, clean. Mario glass, because it'd be rude not to. Ooh, smells quite a, smells quite oppy. Let's give it a good old pour. Funny shaped bowl, this, for the Gran Risova Peroni. Oh. Doppio Molto. I'd say it has a decent strength that, innit? Blimey. 6 point, 6 point, I can't see if it's 6, 6 or 6, 8. I've got my contacts in, but I can't see close up. Mate, that's not good. Anyway, so 6, 6 or 6, 8. Let me know what you think. I'll tell you what, it's got a nice, uh, it's quite a light colour for the strength, considering the strength. That's right. What do we pick ups? So the first pick up was one I was meant to show you when I did my Herm Bay um, game hunting video. Uh, the, the thumbnail's there. If you've not seen it, go watch it after this, of course. And I picked this up at um, Game Nation, and I forgot to, to include it. I don't know why. I think I should put it up on the shelf. Uh, it's a PS1 title. It's called G Police. It's really nice condition, this one, guys. And I paid £6 for this. £6, which I didn't think was too bad, to be fair. GP, £6. Uh, to double this game. So two discs there. And a manual, etc. Very nice condition. Um, and the reason I bought this, some time ago, I did a post on the, on the channel about PS1, if I recall, or something. And someone said, a game that is really underestimated is this, GP. So I thought, for six quid. I'll give it a go. So that was how I kicked off the month with that one. These are all from CEX of various prices. Going to kick things off first with a PS2 title. And it's a Warhammer game, right? And it's Fire Warrior. Fire Warrior. Now, that was £2 there. Now, as you know, I I'll put the show you inside if you want. But when I buy games from CEX, I only buy them if they've got the manuals with them. Unless it's a Wii U title, and quite often I might let them, the manual go, especially if it's a CEX roulette. But I thought for £2, hey, you know, it's Warhammer, it's 40k. What's not to love? Uh, I think my son knows a lot more about 40k than I do. Uh, I used to paint a lot of the miniature figures years and years ago. Got actually quite good at it, you know. Uh, I must pick it up again sometime. Uh, what else do we get? Uh, Van Helsing. For the PS2, uh, also at a value of £2. Van Helsing. Never played this, but you know what? I really enjoyed the film of this when it came out all them years ago. So I thought, for two notes, Rob, you can't go wrong, can you? Or can I? Let me know in the comments if you played it. Is it worth a visit? Okay, now this game here, I picked this up purely, really, out of the, the cover. Look at the cover on that, right? It's a PS2 game. Extermination. Two pound fifty, but it's sort of um, it's got like a like a bit of a uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, I was, it's strange. It's a really strange colour because it's I sort of got like and that I don't know. It's it's strange. I know nothing about this, and I just thought it looks weird. Two pound fifty, I'll buy it. It has no conscience. It takes no prisoners. It knows no mercy, and it's out there somewhere. So, uh, I don't know what that is. Is it a bit alien hunting sort of thing? I don't know. Extermination. Ah, interesting. See, colour, purple, was very influential in that title. Uh, right, okay. A Wii game, this. Um, Monster Hunter Try. £3.50. 
It's Capcom, guys. What's not to love? You know the OG and Capcom. I do love me a Capcom game. Um, do you know what? Though? The secret of this, right? Probably never even going to put it in my way. It's probably going to be a shelf sitter because it's a it's a Capcom title. A lot of love for Capcom. £3.50. Now, I bought this, right? Um, and excuse the pronunciation. In the comments, tell me how you grew up pronouncing this, right? Now, obviously... It's at Looney Tunes. We all know Looney Tunes, don't we, from our youth. Mate, I used to love the Looney Tunes. I still do, actually. And Coyote was always my favourite. Your favourite Looney Tunes character? For me, it was Coyote. I mean, Bugs Bunny was cool, but I like Coyote. Maybe it's the underdog. Maybe I like the underdog. But anyway, Wiley for me. Anyway, and this is called uh, Looney Tunes uh, Acme Arsenal. Now, if I pronounce that correctly, because growing up, I always pronounced it ASM. Uh, A-C-M-E. Is it Acme or ASM? Or am I wrong on both counts? Let the OG know. It's like Taisho, isn't it? When I pronounce Taisho, is it Taito? Taisho? Taito? I don't bloody know. Anyway, so correct me on that one. But I, I, I just thought Looney Tunes, three and a half notes. It looks fun. You know what I mean? It looks fun. It's on the Nintendo Wii, and I think the Wii is a really good fun console. Especially the Wii U, like I say, because it upscales it. So yeah, that's how it does. Now a couple more PS3 titles for the collection. Those that watch know I am loving the PS3. I mean, I'm, I'm running it now. I mean, that's what's that? Aliens, Colonial Marines. You can get some absolutely amazing games for the PS3 at ridiculous prices at the moment. You really can, all right? Uh, right, I bought this. This is going to be good fun. I'm looking forward. This is going to be one of them. Winter's evening. I'm going to come in, few beers, and I'm going to sit for just a few hours. The heater on and just... Living the six pound the dream that is uh, Leisure Suit Larry box office bust. It's an 18, it's Leisure Suit Larry. Let's be honest, I've, no, I've never played, confession time, a Leisure Suit Larry game. But let's be honest, we all know them from there. It's a bit like a, it's a bit, it's a bit adult, isn't it? it's adult themed anyway. All right, hilarious mini games, blah, blah, blah. Larry is back, and this time he's on the silver screen. Okay, featuring some of the hottest stars in Hollywood. The hottest, uh, including Cameron Electra and Shannon Elizabeth. Now, I remember Cap uh, Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. Of course, she was hotty, wasn't she? She was totty. And Shannon Elizabeth. The name rings a bell. Was she 90210 or something like that back in the day? Hmm. Anyway, I've put some images up of them that I've found on the internet while I've been editing this. So let me know. <laughs> Do you remember them girls? Uh, next one. Now this is a PS3 game I bought to add to my collection because I've heard good, good things about this game, all right? It's £15, this game, which for a second-hand PS3 game in CEX is not cheap, so it's not a bargain game. And it's called Catherine, okay? I have played a little bit of this game. And I'm not going to say any more because at the end of the month, as you know now, at the beginning of every month, I'll do my games of the month that I've been playing and all that sort of stuff, giving you guys an overview. And... Uh, to say this is interesting is an understatement. I personally believe this is going to be a collector's title in the future when PS3 starts escalating in value, which it will, okay? Uh, and I honestly believe this game is going to be a, a goodie. Um, so if you can, pick it up. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not going to tell you anything about it until I'm saving it for my, my games of September, so to speak. So that concludes the CEX pickups. Next up, I've got a Wii U game to add. Because you know me and Wii U. It'd be rude not to. Going for the full Wii U PAL set. It's not an easy task and the prices of these are going through the roof. I know you hear it from me all the time. I'll generally drop a video one a week of me adding a game to it. So it'd be rude not to add one during these uh, pickup videos as well, you know. Because, hey, I'm going to. That Peroni Grand Peroni or whatever it is, it's going down rather nicely. Very tasty. Anyway, this is a PAL game. Now, I asked on a few forums, when I'm collecting Wii U games, do they have to be British PAL to be considered a full PAL title, etc.? And the general consensus on these forums is, as long as it's a PAL title, so that could be France, Germany, any countries that come under the PAL um, um, uh, certification, so to speak. So this I've got is Star Fox Guard. 
It's sealed, it's brand new, and I paid £12 for that, okay? Now, this isn't actually a physical game. Inside of this was a code, or is a code, that you would use online to, to get the game, I believe. Um, it's going to stay sealed. It's going to go into the collection. So, uh, let's go at it now. Those that watch my CEX Roulette videos will know I love doing this. It's just therapeutic for me, you know what I mean? And I should do it more often because it means I've got more off the list. So here we go, Star Fox Guard going in the collection. I think this one is the German uh, Dutch edition. Uh, it's sealed, got that nice Nintendo tab running throughout. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm going to keep, keep that sealed. So Star Fox, S for Star Fox. So he's going to go in in this part of the collection here. So I'm gonna have to make some room to make some space there. Shuffling every day, I'm shuffling. Anyway, right, here it goes. So he's gonna go right in now between Splatoon and, of course, Star Fox Zero. Again, sealed copy, that one. Gosh, in it goes. Another one off the checklist. Only two more, two more pickups to show you, but two that I'm really happy about. These are great, great additions to the collection. They are Japanese imports. They are for the Famicom, the Super Famicom, okay? The first one I've got is this. There we go. Street Fighter 2 Super, the new challengers. Now, I'm really pleased with this because basically, in a nutshell, if I'm just quickly here, come on, put my shelf in and show you these. I've got like a nice little trilogy going on now, look. So I've got Street Fighter, and the, I love the Japanese games, I just think the artwork and stuff is, is far superior and stuff. So I've got Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and now Street Fighter 2, the new challenges. So I've got a nice little trilogy there of, of, of the games. I've ordered some more of these protective cases as well for my Super Famicom games, so these will be going in them. So I'm pleased to get that one, and you know what? You know it, it's a bloody Capcom game, innit? Um, lovely condition inside and out. Oh, I've got to show you, you know what I mean? Of course, it's got a general wear and tear on the box, but they're cardboard packaging, you'd expect it, you know? But I don't know, the Famicom games, they just seem to always be, they age better for some reason. I just know, maybe they look after games better. There's the cartridge. Not the greatest artwork for a cartridge front, that one. Shame, really, but hey ho. And the instruction book. Now, I love Street Fighter instruction books simply because, you know, they are just filled with all the all the characters uh, and all, all their special moves and all that. Not that I'm very good at their special moves, uh, but, I mean, I just love the artwork. I mean, Ken, Ryu, you know, Chun-Li, Eddie Honda. And, of course, in this one's got all the new guys, Nick DJ, Hulk. Oh, what's that? Another little green slip that used to come with them as well. Um, Cammy. Fay Long, uh, it's just, you know, and as I say, it's Capcom, so it's not to love about that one. So I'm looking forward to getting that one added when I get them uh, sleeves through. And the last game of the month, well, not the month, guys, of this pickup video, is this, and it's a Konami game. I love me Konami as much as I do me Capcom, although I think maybe Capcom just takes it for me. Anyway, it's this. There we go. Gradius 3. Gradius 3 by Konami. The mighty powerhouse that is going on me. Now, we know this in the West as Gradius uh, and Nemesis. So we would have known it as Nemesis in the arcades, although there was copies of Gradius. Same thing. Now, I have heard somewhere once, I think it was on an arcade podcast, and they were talking about the difference between Gradius and Nemesis. Now, Gradius, the Japanese version, apparently is slightly easier than Nemesis. There you go. Now that is unheard of, especially with Japanese games. If there's any truth to that, let me know in the comments. Is that true? Is Nemesis harder than Gradius? Anyway, uh, I have to admit, ne growing up, um, Nemesis was one of my favourite shoot 'em ups in the arcade. I just loved how you could do the different power-ups and all that, you know? Uh, so this is number three. I mean, I'm lucky I've got a system that plays uh, Japanese uh, SNES games. So happy days with that. There's the cartridge uh, sticker cover. Um, not bad quality that. It's very nice. Um, the artwork is pretty much similar to the actual box. And here you go. And there's the instruction book itself. All right. Now, what I liked about this instruction book when I was looking upon it closer, obviously, apart from being really bright and, and lovely, you know, images and stuff, was this, and here it is. I'll just give you a little one-page sample. 
it's as you play the game, as you know, you pick up the little bonuses and it allows you to sort of your speed and your missiles, lasers and uh, extras or shields and everything else. And that's what made this such a unique shooting for me, uh, the very first one. So I don't think I've ever played Gradius 3 or Nemesis 3. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to giving this a play. Obviously, it's a Japanese import. I'm going to worry, though. It's a shoot -em up, isn't it? And you've got to press start, really. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter if I can or cannot read Japanese. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased with them two editions. Uh, they weren't cheap, but they weren't expensive either for them games. I think I paid 25 for the Street Fighter 2 new challengers, and I think this was 35 But let's be honest, this is an amazing title game. So uh, it's one that will just sit on the shelf, and it will be played. And uh, I have no intentions of ever shifting these on, really. Uh, I've got still got a lot of my collection out that there loft, which I am doing. I mean, there was the first video there that dropped, and people were loving that. Uh, but probably not as much as me. I'll get more excited than you guys do. Well, anyway, if you've enjoyed this, check out that video or that video, because, hey, it's all good stuff, isn't it? I'm OG Duffy. You are awesome. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, and in the comments, Pickups you've had recently. Uh, are these games good, bad, indifferent? Uh, let me know. Have you played these games? Which one should I play first? So it's a goodbye from me, and it's a cheers from uh, from this beer. A few more of these, and my God, I won't be getting many ice scores. Laters. <laughs>